Right, so people often ask, what holds the thatch onto the roof? Um, with straw, we use spars. So we're doing a reed porch here. I'm going to explain about reed. Now, years ago, you used to tie the thatch onto the roof with tarred cord, and the idea of it being tarred was to stop rats and mice eating it. Now we're kind of moved on a bit, and we've got thatching crooks. Um, years ago, the reason it was tied on was met as well. Was metal was very expensive. Um, everything had to be made by a village back blacksmith. It was just a very, very labor intensive process and the metal was expensive. So you've got these, okay, which come in everything from sizes, you get them from six inches all the way up to 24, okay, which is um, everything really in between. Um, you've also got screw fixings, which are kind of, I say fairly modern in the thatching world. They're not really that modern. They've been kind of used now for about the last 25, five years, really coming across from Europe. Um, most thatches have moved on to these now rather than the spikes. Um, I'm going to show the difference between them now. Right, so we have a, have a spike to start off with. Normally, when I'm fixing, I want to make sure there's enough covering from the front edge of a reed to the back edge. There's no point fixing it really low down and the steel's going to be exposed on the surface after five, after five or ten years. It might look very tight, but it won't, just won't last. So I tend to do about two hammers whips. Although because this is a port, you've got to have a little bit of play with it. So it's not going to have it that, that high. Okay, so I'm pro through with the spike, and that's hitting a rafter. Okay, you can't put the spikes into battens. The battens aren't strong enough and they'll just split out and break. And the reed will eventually, although it sounds fairly tight, will just come loose. Okay, hammer, nice and simple. Okay. Notice I'm not kind of trying to bludgeon it to death to start off with, with a cave, because if I hit it down really hard, I'd, it will smash the reed up if I want to dress it up. But also, when you're using going to old rafters, you won't get that amount of play in it. Okay, so I'm show you the difference now with the screw fixings of the spikes. I've got the spike in. So screw fixings, again, you can put these into either the rafter or the batten. Now, these are going to have to go into the rafter because it's oak. Okay, the acid and the tannin in the oak will just rot through any screw fixings things which aren't the right type of screws. I can't make, I can't remember the right type of metal, but there is a specific type. Right, which we'll go in. So what I'm going to do, using the pin, probe to find where the, where the spike, where the rafter is. Further up okay, I'll turn that through, and that basically now makes a hole. Okay. Get my screw fixing. Pop it on the end, edge of the drill. Push that in. Lovely, nice and tight. Drill out the way. And what I'm going to do now, this break underneath the steel. Okay, either side. Move the pin out the way of the twizzler. And that then goes, hooks round, and that then pulls down and the wires hold it down nice and tight. Okay. These are quite good if you've got an old roof which is well shaky with a plaster because it doesn't take much from the miss with a spike to make it the inside of a roof look like a war zone with just breaking the plaster. Um, but spikes do hold the reed tighter. Um, the advantage is where they can be driven into any type of wood. This is, this is an oak frame porch. I'm only putting this in just for a demonstration purposes. I will have to have a spike in there to hold it down. So because I've got to rely on that to hold the reed in, per, in place. Um, it's, it's up to individual choice. I personally prefer to use spikes where possible. I just think they hold a bit better. But there's nothing wrong with using screw fixings provided um, they're in the right material and they're holding tightly enough. The key thing is the distance between the face of the thatch and over here, because this is going to um, where our fixing steel is, to make sure there should be at least four to six inches worth of covering on that main coat. 